So you need to be confident in less than 24 hours because there is this event or you're meeting this person and you want to put your best foot forward. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Nessie and I appreciate you being here. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 5 tips and mindsets to boost your confidence very quickly. So the first tip is go with what usually works for you. So if you need to be confident because you're going to an event or something, it's not the time to experiment with your looks. If you usually feel uncomfortable wearing certain type of clothes, don't wear that. And this goes for your hair, makeup, outfit, beard, anything. Because there is a higher chance you're gonna feel self-conscious when you go out. And here's why. So our mind doesn't like change. And in order for it to accept something and get used to it, it's gonna need repetition. And I experienced this first when I, when I tried to go out without makeup. I have whole videos on tips about that. So it's okay to play it safe for your event and wear what makes you feel good. And then after that, it's cool to experiment. And as time passes, you're gonna expand your comfort zone and become more confident. The second thing to know is that people are focused on themselves. So I talked about this in my video about how to stop caring about what others think of you. I'll link it in the description. But basically, just like you are focusing on yourself, other people are also focused on themselves mainly. And there is a high chance that they are worrying if they are looking good. Or if you looking at them means you are judging them or criticizing them. Now you can tell me, but there is some people that are gonna judge me and criticize me. And that is absolutely true. Not everyone is gonna like you. And that is okay because you don't even like everyone. And the thing is, people that are criticizing you, are judging you, don't like themselves. And they are also judging and criticizing themselves, whether it's conscious or unconscious. And by criticizing you, it gives them a sense of relief. It makes them feel less alone and less unworthy because it makes them feel better about themselves. And therefore, it's not personal even if the criticism is targeted at you. The third one is that you're more attractive than you think. We all see attractive people who can't take a compliment because they do not believe it. And you probably heard that people find you 20% more attractive than you think. Not that you should care what they think and I don't know if it's a study or not. But we all seen it in real life. Like you compliment someone and they deny it and tell you that you are a liar or something. Now why would I lie to you? How does that benefit me in any form? So obviously people are not lying to you babes, take the compliments. And also, we all been there and we all seen that. Like you see someone smiling and they look like the most beautiful person in the world. And then, or you get complimented for your smile. And then you go, <laughs> you go in the mirror and you're like, and, and you, you start seeing your cheeks become chubbier and you start analyzing your teeth and smile and eyes and wrinkles and you find yourself so ugly like for real, were you smiling this way like when, <laughs> when you were talking to that person? of course not we are not just features when someone smiles, I swear to god you can feel like you can feel their soul from like their eyes and the way that the energy that comes out of them so you can't judge yourself when you're looking like a robot in the mirror you don't see how your eyes are shining you're not seeing the full picture when someone finds you attractive it's not just because your features it's about your aura and your energy and your personality and i'm sure when you find someone attractive or beautiful it's because all of that too not that you should care about what other people think of you or if they find you attractive or not but it can boost your confidence in the short term but just remember that when you are looking at the mirror you are not seeing the full picture and also i don't know if you have noticed or not but personally at home we have a lot of mirrors and not one make you look like the other one so which version of this i am the fourth one is fake it so we all see it Rihanna's interview. What do you do on those days that you don't feel that confident or fearless or powerful like you did out there? Uh, pretend. 
fake it? Yeah. Until we make it? I mean, why not? So you don't even have to take it that seriously. Just take it like, just take it as a joke and dare yourself to act confident. Like become an actor for that day and act as confident as you can. Now you can tell me how does acting make me feel actually confident. And if you want to build long term confidence, I have a whole playlist about confidence. I'll leave it in the description too. But even acting can help you with long term confidence. This is how the law of assumption work. You act as if you already have what you want to have. So if you want to be confident, act confident. Do what your confident version will do. Talk like your confident version will talk. The final one is listen to your favorite music. And I'm not talking about sad love songs or songs about how much the world is corrupt. I'm talking about songs that makes you feel good, that makes you feel empowered. If you wanna feel like a bad bitch, listen to bad bitch's song. If you wanna feel like you're a king and you have everything in the world, listen to songs about that. Just listen to them as you are getting ready and sing, sing to them out loud and dance. And if you don't wanna listen to this type of songs, then listen to any songs that makes you dance and move so you can get out of your head and get in your body. And also, bonus tip, if you feel like you fucked up at some point, like you fell or broke glass or embarrassed yourself, I swear, the most confident move is just to laugh at it. Don't take it too seriously. When you laugh, everybody else is gonna laugh. But if you feel embarrassed and try to hide yourself, then it's gonna ruin your mood. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.